January 1st, 2022. Happy New Year to all of you. My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Today, I want to talk about how to stick with your resolutions that you probably hopefully made last night. I also hope all of you are feeling good after the celebrations. I'm really excited to get the year started. Not specifically on a fashion note, but we'll make it fashion adjacent. Why I wanted to start this year off with a different type of video is two reasons. Number one, fashion is about self-expression, about self-care, about self-confidence. So I actually think this ties in with the entirety of fashion for me. But point number two is that I actually am going to launch two new channels, one fitness channel and one self-improvement channel this year. That's on my resolutions list. So let's look at how we can make sure that we actually live up to those resolutions. The last couple of years have been really tough. Let's hope that 2022 is gonna get a bit smoother. I have seven different tips for you and I'll use the example of uh, the resolution to want to work out more and then a resolution that's maybe more style focused. Like you want to step up your style game, how do you do that? So with those two in mind, let's start with point number one, and that is to make the goal specific. With the example of the gym, for example, don't say like, I want to work out more. That's going to make it hard to achieve. Say you want to be able to lift a certain amount of pounds with the bench press. Say you want to be going to the gym three times a week. Make it specific, as specific as you possibly can, so you can set yourself up for success because when you have a specific goal, you can see yourself making progress towards it. Every week that you actually do go three times, you're hitting your goal, you're gonna get a little bit of an endorphin release and you're gonna make your way towards that goal a little bit more easily. Point number two is to limit your resolutions to begin with. If you overwhelm yourself, we often try and do like this at the same time as that. And then this also, it gets really overwhelming. We start like we're not living our life at all anymore. And I want you guys to just tackle one thing at a time, maybe a couple of things if they go together, but please just don't overwhelm yourself. You're not doing yourself a favor, <laughs> honestly, simple as that. Point number three is to put time into planning. Say now that you want to dress better in 2022. Now that's generally a vague goal and it's hard to make that one a bit more specific, but you can plan for that. Find YouTube channels, hopefully this one, <laughs> uh, find Instagram accounts, look at brands, kind of plan out what you want your style to be and then how you uh, are going to budget for it. How are you going to be shopping for those new clothes? Maybe it's time to let go of some of the old pieces in your wardrobe. So it takes some planning to make that as easy as possible. And if you plan, once again, you kind of can set benchmarks for yourself that's going to make it easier to get to the final result. Point number four, I am uh, guilty of this. I'm sure a lot of you are too. We need to learn from our past mistakes. I have uh, made resolutions year over year and kind of hope for a different outcome without looking at why I failed in the first place. So if you've tried out for something and that didn't work, try and erase that from the memory because as humans we're like, oh, I tried that, I couldn't do it, so I won't be able to do it. Stop that thinking. Rather, go back, look at what your resolution was and why it failed. Try to analyze that and try to learn from it. So if you are making that resolution again this year, it ends up going differently. Point number five is accountability. In the example of working out more, that could be a gym buddy. In the example of the style, it could be another friend that wants to step up their game as well. But just having someone that knows you're trying to do this, someone that feels like they're holding you accountable is going to make a major impact on achieving your goal. And it makes it more fun just to be able to share. The goals can be similar, the goals can be entirely different, but just to touch base with them once a week, have an accountability partner that really has uh, done miracles for me in the past. Now the last two are focused more on the entirety of the process. When you sit down and you start planning, you make your specific goal, you feel amazing, you think it's gonna be great, and you can see and feel your goal. But there is going to be that morning when you have to wake up at 6 a.m. to actually go to the gym, and then your motivation is probably not going to be as high. In those moments, I want you to know why you're doing this. So that's when it actually becomes really important to be doing things for yourself rather than for somebody else. Because if you know what you're doing it for, not just please the society, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever. If you do it for you and you know what your motivation is, then it's going to get a lot easier. Just focus on what it's going to feel like once you've actually achieved it, how you're going to feel about yourself, and hopefully that's going to get you through the rough patches. Which brings me to point number seven, please embrace and be aware of the fact and embrace that it's a process. It's not going to be linear. You're not going to have your plan and then just go and get it. You might fluke out here or there. You might have a couple of obstacles. Please don't let that discourage you. Just because you don't live up one week to what you set out to do, don't let the entire thing go out the window just because you didn't make it happen. It is a process, it's going to take time. Change takes time in general. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> 
I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like I said, very different than um, the normal video on this channel, but kind of setting the tone for what else is going to happen in my life on YouTube with you guys, hopefully, in 2022. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have a fashion video coming really soon, so y'all stay tuned for that. Have a phenomenal start to the year, and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye, guys.